So we're going to be looking at some angle relationships here next. Uh, we have two types of angles here. One we call vertical and the other we call corresponding angles. So vertical angles, as it says over here, they're two opposite angles whenever we have two lines that intersect. And as it also says here, vertical angles are always congruent. So for instance over here, if I were to go ahead and take a look at my angles here, I have two lines that cross. I have my red line, I have my black line here. And by the way, this red line is called a transversal. I'm going to go ahead and write that right there, transversal. So basically what we have here is we have a transversal, the red line, cutting through these two lines that are parallel. And as it turns out, uh, as it says over here for vertical angles, if they're opposite each other from when we have two lines that intersect, in other words, A and D would be considered opposite, those would be what we call uh, vertical angles, which means they are equal in measure. So I'm going to over here write down a pair of angles that are vertical. Well, as A and D are vertical and therefore equal in measure, well, B and C would be as well because they are also on opposite sides here when two lines intersect. So I'm going to go ahead and write B and C. And over here, if we look at the other four angles here, we have angle M and the one that's across from it that's opposite would be X. So I would also say that M and X would be uh, vertical angles. And then finally, P and T end up being as well. So I'm going to write P and T. So we really have four sets of vertical angles here. And vertical angles, as it says, are always congruent. Also, we have this idea of what we call corresponding angles. And they lie in the same position of the transversal. So what does that mean here? It means, let me go ahead and erase what we have here. I'm going to go ahead and erase this one here. All right. So if I went back here and I said, well, what do I mean by in the same position? If you notice of these four angles here, angle B would be what I would consider the top right angle of these four. Angle T over here would also be on the top right. So these would be what we call corresponding angles. So over here, I'm going to write down that pair. So B and T would be considered corresponding. And as it says down here, if these lines are parallel, and they are, it says so right down here, corresponding angles are congruent. So they would be exactly the same measure. So for instance, if angle B was 50 degrees, angle T would have to be 50 degrees as well because we have parallel lines here. We have four sets of corresponding angles. We also have A because that's the top left and M. So I'm going to go ahead and write that here. A and M. We also have C and P because are, those are the bottom left. And then finally, the bottom right would be considered D and X. So therefore, we have four sets of corresponding angles. And as long as those lines are parallel here, and uh, we go ahead and compare uh, where they are in relation to the transversal, those angles will be congruent or equal in measure.